So to manage your team in Autodesk accounts, you want to go onto your account page and under the user management, you can do this either with the by user option or by product. Um, it will do a similar thing. Um, you'll see your team list up here in the top left. There'll be a drop down and it will be all created teams and then you can select between them there. By default, you should have just one team and that will be all the licenses that you have. Um, and you will be able to create new teams as and when you need them, either for different departments, different office locations or however you want to sort out your teams. To make any changes, up in the top right, there is a team settings little gear icon here. So you want to press on that one. And this is where you'll be able to create new teams or to move subscriptions to teams that you've created. You can also rename teams here as well. So in the top right, you can see actions. So here we can create a new team. You can give that a name and then press on create team. Once that is done, it will add it to your drop down list and you'll be able to select it from here. And what you can also do once you've created your new team, you see there's no products there. So you'll be able to press the little team settings gear icon on your new team. And then under the actions, you'll be able to move subscriptions to this team. So you'll need to select a team to move the subs from. So normally that will be either the first one created or if you have any others that you need to move it from. And then from there, it will give you the full list of subscriptions that you can move. Um, you select which ones you want and then review and submit after that. You can also add primary or secondary admins onto the team if you want somebody else to be able to manage those licenses. The admins are set per team, so you'd need to set them up for each one. Um, you can just invite the users here, put first and last name and their email address. If they're already a member of another team, they'll be added as they are, but it will send them an email uh, invite as well to tell them that they've been added. They'll be added as just a user role, so the um, you'd have to go into their user here and then go under change role and then set them up as a secondary admin and save that. And then that will change it and that will mean that they can then manage your licenses from within that team. Also worth knowing that teams cannot be deleted from your Autodesk account. So in order to do this, you neither need to contact Autodesk support directly or if you have a support contract with us, you can ask us to do that and we can get those deleted for you.